at a certain point in that movement from self and ego into no self in the sense of no ego, what seems to be happening is that God is, is taking over all our faculties and manifesting appropriately, even in the smallest ones. So if you want to, suppose you want to serve a meal or something, it's not you who are doing this now, but God, without any self-reflection. In other words, the I am that tends to get stamped on every human experience uh, is erased to the direct communication with God in which he does all the doing and we do all the receiving. Whatever you do is divine. Mm -hmm. So you become another incarnation without actually the completeness of it that we believe as Christians occurred in, in Christ. So this is something that grows on you as, again, as you just keep doing the meditation and the practices to reduce the obstacles. So there's no self, there's no, there's certainly some kind of identity because he created us. But who wants to think of himself if you can think of God and have God's thoughts all the time? 